Hi, this is Shashmit from Paraguide Technologies. Uh, today I am going to explain how we can encrypt the data using Navision and SQL Server 2016. Uh, for demonstration, I presume that the viewer of this video have technical understanding on Navision and SQL Server, such as running queries, designing tables, modifying and editing and deleting the data using SQL queries, and technical understanding and development understanding on Navision. Uh, so in Navision, after 2013, we have an inbuilt option of encrypting, which encrypts the data in a plain text format using Base64 algorithm, which is something less secured. Here is the option that we have in Navision. Uh, but with the advancement in the technologies, Microsoft has now introduced the always encrypted feature in its latest SQL Server 2016 release, which is more secure and reliable. So the methods that I'll use in Navision can also be deployed with a website using SQL database. If you have a good understanding of .NET designing, that the same can be deployed using the .NET on any .NET application. In between, I'll also explain how this encryption and its integration can be done over a customer website running on SQL Server. So first of all, we need to take the backup of the database from the older SQL Server version and restore the same database in the SQL Server 2016. That can be done easily from the database available task options here. We can restore the database, we can back up it from here, from the database or from any device location. Uh, and now let's start encrypting the data. For example, I have created a table in Navision named National Identification Number. This is a simple table that will be reflected in the SQL Server. As you can see in this table that I have kept the primary key as GUID, this GUID can be used to fetch the record in any logical operations. Here is the primary key, as this is the GUID. Uh, when I insert the data, you will see that the primary key automatically populates and gets inserted because I have written a code on uninsert trigger to generate the GUID. So here is the code that I have written. It's just create GUID. And assigned it to primary key. Now let's put some data in this table, some temporary data that will be used uh, during our process. Let's put some random number in NI number that is the national identification number, uh, put identification type as customer and the code as cust0004. I put some more data for uh, let's say uh, employee. Uh, that's it. Now let's look at the SQL side, how this data looks there. Uh, so this is the basic SQL Server database look. Uh, now let's find the table and uh, where is the table? It's national identification number. Uh, we'll run the select top thousand mode query on this table. Here is it. Now let's run the select top thousand. So here is our data. Now let's encrypt it. Uh, for encryption, uh, for encrypting this data, we just need to right click the column that we need to encrypt. For example, here we'll encrypt the NI number that we have here. So let's click on columns, NI number, right click and encrypt column. So always encrypted is designed to protect sensitive information such as credit card numbers or national identification numbers for example US so social security numbers so these are the, the data that is stored in Azure SQL database or SQL Server database and always encrypted allows client to encrypt sensitive data inside client applications and never reveals the encryption key to the database engine as a result always encrypted provides a separation between those who owns the data and those who manages the data. You, you may visit MSDN website to explore more on always encrypted and its architecture. So here is, at first we have a column selection option. Uh, we need to select the column, we need to select the encryption type and encryption key. We have two types of encryption type, one is deterministic and one is randomized. Deterministic uh, 
encryption type generates the regular patterns while randomized generates the irregular patterns at the same time uh, if we select a local machine encryption key then we need to generate a local key for that or otherwise we can select the generating the auto option when we select the auto option we have to store the master key we have two option to store the master key here one is the windows 2 and another is the azure key vault if you have a login or authentication on the azure that is microsoft azure then you can use to store the data the encryption key in azure key vault but for now i am using the local machine key because i am running this entire system on my local machine let's just quickly do it an i number encryption type deterministic and the local machine for this i don't want to generate any master key uh, from here i can uh, select uh, if i want to generate the powershell script to run it later and the summary is like uh, what will be changed and when I click finish and the data will be encrypted here it is now we have our data encrypted now next step will be how we can decrypt this data from the end user applications uh, for here we are, from here we will be using Navision but the same process can be deployed to, to decrypt the data from other .NET based applications so I have already written a code using the .NET variables to execute the SQL queries. Here is the code. So let's uh, quickly understand the code. I have declared some .NET variables from .NET assembly that is SQL.data.SQL client such as SQL connection, SQL parameters SQL data reader and one option type is SQL command type we have three options here uh, I'll be using the text option because the command will be passed as a text first of all we need to set the connection string to connect to SQL database uh, I have defined a function here to get the connection string so let me quickly show you how uh, we can uh, pass the connection string here is the get connection string function that I have defined so you can see here that I have defined two parameters uh, here these are the two special parameters that will be used for encryption in 2016 SQL server that is column encryption settings equals to enabled and integrated security equals to true once the command is fed in the command text SQL server will execute and read the data we can use the SQL data reader to uh, execute the reader and SQL data reader to get the item that is NI number what will be written in NI number will be provided here uh, similarly we can insert the data using insert query and we can update the data using update query we can add the parameters using the SQL command dot add parameter add with value now let's quickly run this three process first of all we'll decrypt the data where the code is cust triple zero two so let me show you Th these are the three functions that is decrypt and in insert and update the data so first of all I'll decrypt it let's go in design mode here is my function call so when I quickly run it I will get the value but at the SQL side this value is encrypted now I will get the plain text value of the encrypted value this can be only this can only be done using the .NET assemblies so let's quickly insert the data and then I am inserting the data for one employee and one customer with their uh, national identification numbers let's run it preview so two values are now inserted now let's see at the SQL side 
the two values that I just inserted are inserted here and the ni number that I have inserted is the encrypted value. Now let's quickly update the data. I am updating the data for cus2 and this will be the value. When I update the data and I run the decrypt function then I will get this changed value. So let's run the decrypt value, decrypt function and you will see here that the value is now decrypted. Uh, when we go to the SQL side and run the update same update query then you will see that the error is thrown in the SQL side because the SQL server does not have access to the master key and also the the ni number field is now encrypted using AES-256 algorithm. Uh, let me show you the table in the design mode. Here it is. Now you can see here now that the algorithm used to encrypt the data is AES-256 and the data is encrypted using the CEK local machine encryption key that is the column encryption key and encryption type used here is the deterministic. Uh, we have one limitation that we cannot run a table that is encrypted using SQL Server 2016 because the encryption process internally changes the SQL data type. Here it is. Uh, thanks for watching the video you can visit us at www.paraguide.com